Good day, grade 12 students. This will be the continuation of our discussion in our subject, entrepreneurship. So this will be the verse which is related to our topic. It is from Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 to 16. So be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. So if we will make a decision, it says that we should be very careful and be wise. So how to be wise? All you need to do is when you are making decision, do not base it on your feelings or emotion because they or these are not reliable. Because sometimes uh, our emotions are temporary or it is not uh, last for long. So we should not rely on it. Then the next one, how to be wise. All you need to do is to apply everything that you learn or all the knowledge and wisdom that you have. You should not just take note any knowledge or information that you have learned you should also, or you should assure that you applied it to your life. So let's proceed to our topic for today. So after opportunity seeking, what process that we need to do for us to have a short list of a few very promising opportunities? So it means that after opportunity seeking, we're in we need to find economic idea that can be converted into business opportunity. What will be the next step? Diba? As I require you last time to create or to list three business opportunities within your environment. So as that or by that list, as you can see, we have a lot of choices, but we just need to choose the best one. So this uh, method or this uh, next step of our business implementation, all we need to do is to do this one, opportunity screening. So what is opportunity screening? It will help you to narrow down or to select, to choose what will be the best opportunities among your list because we need to choose or to select the best opportunity because we just have a limited time, money, and resources that we are willing to give for our business. So by that, before we craft our business plan, we need first to narrow down or to choose the best business opportunity that we'll have or we will devote ourselves to give time, money, and resources for that business. So by this opportunity screening, we will know what will be the best opportunity among our list. So first one, in your mind, kindly answer this question. So kindly review first your business proposal that you have, uh, you have last time when we have our first written work. So first one, do I have the drive to pursue or are you willing to pursue this business opportunity until the end? The second one, are you willing to spend all your time, effort, and money to make your business grow or to work? Then the last one, are you willing to sacrifice your existing lifestyle? It means you are, uh, you will make time. You will, you will change your lifestyle and to make time for your business and your emotional hardship like distractions or discouragement as you have your business and forego my usual comforts to succeed in this business opportunity. So if your answer for that three question is yes, so you can proceed to this 12 hours of opportunity screening. So first one, kindly review first your business proposal or business opportunity. Then kindly check your business opportunities based on these 12 indicators. So first one, relevance. So when we say relevance, your business opportunity should be aligned with your personal vision, mission, and objectives for your business. 
the second one is resonance to values. It means that all you need to do is to check your business opportunity. Is it aligned to my personal values and desired virtues that you want to share to others? For an example, we went to an Adventist school. So as we all know, those Advent, uh, those people uh, with that religion, uh, most of them or they are not allowed to eat pork. Then, as I observe within that canteen, they just serve any food without pork. So, by that, that manager or that uh, business owner of that canteen is already aligned their real virtues or values within that business. So, they consider that Adventists or those students within that school they don't or they don't want or they are not allowed to eat pork. So they remove any ingredients within that food or within the menu of their school or of their canteen. The third one is reinforcement of entrepreneurial interest. So it means that your business opportunity should align to your interest. You can maximize your talents in your skills within your business opportunity. Then the fourth one, revenues. So that business opportunity should have return of investment. So how? You will think or you will check if your product or service has the potential or sales potential, has good market. Are those um, target market or are your customer are willing to consume or to buy your product or services? If yes, it has sales potential. Then number five, responsiveness. When we say responsiveness, it should meet the needs or the un underserved or unfulfilled needs and wants of your target customer. So if your product or services can meet the needs of your customer, it is responsive. Then number six, reach. When we say reach, your business opportunity should have good chances of expanding into branches, distributorship, dealerships, and franchise outlets. So if it yes, you can rate it into five. Then number seven, range. When we say range, all you need to do is to check your business opportunity can you tap any resources within your environment just to pursue your products and services? It should have wide range of possible products and services. For an example, you think a solar internet connection provider. So are you sure that you can tap the available resources within your market or it will just not, uh, it is not possible because there is no uh, there is no materials for that solar internet connection provider. So you should check if there is wide range of possible products and services that will support your business opportunity. So that will be the first seven on our 12 hours of opportunity screen. The number eight, revolutionary impact. As we can see or as we have discussed last time, Diba? Ang entrepreneurs, they are innovative opportunity seekers. They are not contented that their product or services are common to the existing market. So you should think for next big thing, the game changer, a product which is new, which is not existing in the market. So it is called as revolutionary impact. Then number nine, returns. Again, when we say returns, aside from this one, you will have low cost of production and operations and you will sell your product or services at higher, price, higher prices. So it means that you will have higher return of investment. But aside from tangible or yung nakakapita na mga returns like profits, you should also have this kind of returns which is intangible or hindi nakakapita. For an example, high profile recognition or image projection within your product. For an example, good feedbacks for your services or for your products given by your 
target target customer. So by this, you have good image for your product. And it is a good return, not only just those uh, tangible or nakakapitan, but also those intangible, like having good image, have your uh, new brand, or you have high profile recognition for your product or services. Then number 10, relative ease of implementation. Kind of check your business opportunity. Is it easy to implement or it will just give you trouble? For an example, there is a lot of competition within your, uh, within your chosen business or product. It is already existing in the market. So uh, is it relative ease of or there is relative ease of implementation? If yes, you can rate it into five. Then number 11, resources required. Again, uh, the first 10, it is called as positive indicator. So I will explain it later why. Then this 11 and 12, the last two indicators, it is called as negative indicators. Why? So as you can see, resources required. These are the resources that you need for you to establish your business. So the fewer resources, the better because it will bring you low cost of production and operations. Then the 12 or the last opportunity screening indicator is risk. So we will or we cannot, uh, we cannot change this thing or this indicator because as we have our business, the risk is already come with this uh, type of uh, business. For an example, high technology, wherein we need to provide high or efficient machines or technology, we need to implement it for us to have better product or services. Then market, for an example, your product is new or next big thing. So it is a risk wherein we are not sure if your target customer is willing to buy or willing to consume your new product then financial and people risk for an example of people risk we need to up, we need to uh, we need to accept or we need to choose the better employees or it can be uh, business partners for our business so by this we will have or we can face risk within our business implementation. So that will be the 12 hours of opportunity screening. So this will be our matrix for our 12 hours of business opportunity. First one, so as you can see, these are the 10 or the first 10, it is called as positive indicators. These are uh, it can say, or according to this matrix, the more it has relevance, resonance, and your interest is used within that business and others, it is more better. It is the best opportunity. So the higher the rate, according to this first 10, it is better. So for an example, relevance. For an example of business, uh, my mission or my goal is to provide a public transportation vehicle which is uh, cheaper and it is safe. As of now, we have the Bawi experiencing pandemic or uh, spread of COVID-19 within our environment, environment. So my mission is to still have safe public transportation. So I will think a product or services. So I chose to have a double-decker jeepney. So that double-decker jeepney, it is aligned to my relevance or to my, it is related to my mission, vision, and goal. So I will rate it into, in relevance, I will rate it into five. So your rating, you will multiply it to the given weight, which is two. So five times two, your score for relevance to your double-decker business of double-decker jeepney business opportunity will be 10. So next one. So as you can see, the resonance, your values, for an example, my values or one of my virtue, one of my virtue is to help others. So by that double-decker jeepney, I can help those uh, drivers to still have 
the number of their desired number of passengers and for those passengers they will have safe public transportation or public any vehicle for their transportation so by this i can rate it in resonance i can rate it into five because it meet or it is aligned to my virtues or values to help others by my business so by this, if you already rate your business according to these indicators, you will sum it up until those uh, to the last indicator. So what will be the last two indicators? It is called as, so let's see. It is called as the negative indicators, wherein the lesser these indicators, the better. For an example, I for a, for an example, as you can see, the rating it is inverted. So kanina, as you can see, it is from five, four, three, two, one. It is from the highest to lowest rating. So in the second um, indicators or the negative indicators, as you can see, it is uh, from the lowest rating to highest. So by this it is inverted and we should uh, be mindful that the fewer resources and risk it is much better because these are considered as negative indicators so for an example in resources in double decker jeepney i do really have a high or i do really need uh, a lot of resources to have that double decker jeepney because i want that jeepney to have to become air conditioned, have internet connection, and to become double decker. So I do really need a lot of material. So I can rate it in two because it it will cost or it it will have high cost of production and operation. So two, you will multiply it into one by the given sample weight. The score for res for resources will be two. Then the number twelve. And number 12, risk. So as I can see, it can really meet the needs of my passenger or, or my target customers, which are the passengers. And I can see that it can really help those uh, drivers to still have their desired number of passengers. So I can see that there is a few risks for that double-decker jeepney. So very low. I will rate my double decker jeepney into very low. So by this, uh, you will multiply your rating, which is five times the given sample weight, which is three. And the answer for, or the score for your risk indicator will be 15. Then from indicator, first indicator until 12, you will sum it up. All the scores, you will sum it up. And that will be your total score. So again, please be reminded that in opportunity screening matrix, the first one to 10 indicators, it is called as positive. The more that indicators, uh, the more that you have that indicators, it is better. Then the second one, the 11 and 12 indicators, it is called as negative because the fewer you have that indicators like resources in risk, the better. So, the opportunities with the highest total scores, please be reminded, that will be the best ones for you. Again, the highest total scores are likely the best ones for you. So by your list, a lot of business opportunity that you have written within your list, you can easily choose which will be the best one. So you can proceed to your business implementation. So... For our group activity, that will be the end of our discussion. For your group activity, all you need to do is to list to uh, think two opportunities that can be found to your surroundings. Then the second one, kindly think what will be the business opportunity for your possible economic ideas that you can found within your environment. Kindly think one, one in each business opportunity. Then kindly think any product or services that will meet the needs or the problem. It can be invention. It can be competition. 
that will meet the needs of your target customer. Then the last one, compile the listed opportunities and business proposals. So I will wait for your group activity until April 15. So if you have any question, you can send or leave a message on my messenger account. So that will be the end of this video. Thank you for listening.